to address you all this afternoon. My name is Kilikina Kekomano. I'm a Kanaka Maoli. My 11th great grandmother comes from Big Island, Napopo, uh, 1725. I, re I represent the Aloha Kekeo Ainas of Hawaii. I live in Hawaii. My purpose here is to publicly renounce this Act 55. It uh, is emotional for a Kanaka Maoli person when we lost our country January 17, 1893, and then we were illegally occupied permanently from August 12, 1898. In doing so, my country, beloved country of Hawaii, was never conquered, was never acquired, and there was never a treaty. In understanding the ramifications of that, the April 30th, 1900 Organic Act, which is all your laws in this state of Hawaii, has the jurisdiction of a territory, because it is a territory. The territory of the Act of April 30th, 1900's jurisdiction is American Samoa, Northern Marianas, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and District of Columbia. My point in is I can't understand what laws you're executing in your jurisdiction to commit malicious premeditated malfeasance on the Kanaka Maoli people, on the people of this land, and on my ancestors that have never relinquished one title under the Royal Patent Lands of 1855 under King Kamehameha's probate will. Those 1,800,000 acres are in perpetuity. And if I need to define that for you, it can never be sold, taxed, liened, or mortgaged. In effect, your laws are totally not in effect. You have no jurisdiction, no warrant of law, and no warrant of treaty. You have act the states, the United States of America needed a treaty for its major, major three accusations, which was from Napoleon in 1803, the Louisiana Purchase, the American-Mexican War, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848, 15 million, and don't forget Russia with love, 7.2 million in 1876. My case in point, there is no treaty that allows any law other than kingdom law. May I remind you, during World War II, when the United States occupied Japan and Germany, common law has been exercised in every country that America has occupied, with the exception of the kingdom of Hawaii. So our laws are not gone. One dash one under Williams, um, Williamson, he, uh, Richardson, that was for excess. We have more than excess. We have all the laws. My family and heirs, with our DNA, we are the law. We own those patents. And now you're going to develop land that you have no warrant of deed or title. You don't even have a treaty to exercise your laws. I am grossly confused. How can you pursue this malicious, malicious premeditated malfeasance on my people without warrant of deed or title. That was all rescinded January 17, 1893. There was no Bureau of Conveyance. There was no notary. And then you had 50 U.S. American businessmen and sugar plantation owners with the aid of the USS Boston of 157 men with 10 officers that came in on a man of war, broke international law, occupied our islands, raped the queen of her land, her resources, her gold, and 46 international neutral treaties. Now show me, I don't understand what law you're using. There is no law in this state. It's a corporation under an act of the District of Columbia, which is a territory.